Hi, my name is Kevin Jack and welcome to Kevin Jack Music. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to just sit here and talk to the camera and talk to you. For those of you who are subscribed, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to go and click on that subscribe link and click on the bell notification so that you don't miss another video. Now that's out of the way. I just want to talk a little bit about my guitar journey. So my guitar journey started when I was about six or seven years old. I had asked my parents for a guitar and they humored me and they gave me a guitar for Christmas. And I remember that guitar being like a brown and beige affair. You know, it had nylon strings and it had Western motifs on it, um, like cowboy hat and steer horns and whatever the case might be. And I would sit in the veranda and I would play not really play but plunk along and keep noise you know and have fun for hours on it and I remember there was a gentleman who lived on the same street as I did and he would see me and he would come by and he would tune the guitar and he would play some songs and I could see what was possible but I never really learned anything about how to play the guitar I didn't learn any notes learn any chords or anything of the sort so then we could fast forward to when I was at secondary school and you know I was in like um, third form at secondary school and a friend of mine gave me a cassette tape, yes, a cassette tape, so you know that I am dating myself, it's a cassette tape um, with Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction on one side and on the other side it was Def Leppard's Hysteria. At the time, I was I had never heard of those bands and wasn't familiar with that kind of music at all. And uh, I was mainly listening to a lot of, of dance hall or dub at the time. And that was what I was totally obsessed with. Anyway, when I got home, I put on that cassette tape in my ta tape deck. And I heard like the opening notes or the opening riff for... Um, the Appetite for Destruction album that was Welcome to the Jungle, it totally blew my mind. And that was a turning point for me. I had to, I just got obsessed with that music. I had to hear, you know, more of this music, where it was coming from. And it just totally altered my musical taste and what I wanted to hear when I listened to music. But I was probably like 14 at the time, so I still hadn't picked up the instrument. Now coming on to my, the end of my time at secondary school, I, um, I, that's when I started to play. One, uh, there was a Spanish teacher at the school and he informed us along with some other guys at the school that there were some nylon string um, acoustic guitars, Spanish guitars in the Spanish room. And if we were interested, he could show us how to play a few chords and whatnot. And I would sp go up there and I would spend my, my lunch time you know, learning some basic chords. I remember learning like the A major chord, the D chord, E major chord, and just trying to get around on the instrument playing those three chords. And that's really when I started to play and got interested in learning how to play some basic songs or whatever the case might be. And I also, from there, I remember getting from a friend uh, uh, an electric guitar. And it was a decent guitar, now that I realized. It was an Ibanez, but it was um, a copy of a Les Paul um, Custom. So it was black. It looked like one of the um, Les Paul um, Custom guitars. And it had like gold hardware and whatnot. It needed some work, but I did what I could. I, I bought strings. And at that time, it didn't have... An amplifier, so <laughs> I used to plug it into my stereo. But the thing is, my stereo had like a volume and a master volume, so I could do the trick where I could max out the volume and use the master volume to get some distortion, which was quite fizzy. But you know, for somebody who was now starting out and wanted to play guitar, I guess that that was a thing that was very um, satisfying to experience to get a guitar and get something close to the sound that you were listening to on those records that you were now beginning to be well now beginning to enjoy and experience and at the time that was it for me it was like wow i'm rocking i'm playing guitar and because i started playing guitar i got opportunities to to play with other people who were starting out starting their journey or were a little bit further on so i remember meeting some guys 
you know, there, a guy Nicholas P Pilgrim, and then um, Patrick Mitchell, they were hanging up together, and they would show me things on guitar and give me all kinds of advice. <laughs> One piece of advice I got from them was, you know, try to figure out things by ear. Don't, um, you know, don't look at tablature. Try to figure it out by ear. So, you know, I spent some of those early times, you know, I had some records, like vinyl records, and I would, you know, put the needle on the vinyl, and I would listen carefully and try to figure out songs that way. And if I made any progress, I would show them. And they would say, yes, that is it, but here is where you made some mistakes. And and that's how I grew. I didn't even have a tuner, so I would tune my, my guitar to the record. And those are some skills that I started to build along in my early time as my guitar journey started to um, emerge and I started to progress on the instrument. I mean, this journey goes on and on and I just want to get on here and just talk to the camera, talk to you guys and share what my journey was like in the beginning. And I think that if you want to hear more about my guitar journey, you know, you can comment in, in below and you can ask me questions and I'll be more than happy to share about my guitar journey or anything else related to guitar so if you're subscribed that's great if you're not subscribed like I said before at the beginning you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button you can click on the bell that will notify, notify you uh, when I post another video and again thanks for watching this has been Kevin Jack Music